What started as a single case of the deadly Ebola virus disease in a remote region of Guinea in December 2013 would soon become an outbreak of unprecedented proportions. On 18 September 2014, the United Nations Secretary General announced the creation of the UN Mission for Ebola Emergency Response, the first ever UN Mission for a Public Health Emergency. Individuals, communities, organizations and countries have stepped forward, joining the Ebola Response Coalition to rid the world of a disease so vicious it preys on human kindness and spreads through the very means by which people show love and compassion, the touch. United in their goals, partners around the world set out to stop the outbreak, treat the infected, ensure essential services, preserve stability and prevent further outbreaks. Ebola treatment units were built across the three countries. Ambulances, motorcycles and volunteers were flown in. Hospitals were beefed up. Food was distributed. Outreach teams were hitting the streets. The world kept at it, finding and managing cases, tracing contacts, conducting safe and dignified burials, encouraging communities to take the necessary precautions. Families were still being torn apart, economies were suffering, yet the response was starting to work. In western Sierra Leone, a surge operation was launched to tackle the persistent increase in cases. Efforts were redoubled. In most wars, you can see the enemy approaching. Fighting an invisible enemy requires more effort, more persistence and more resources. Today, that fight against Ebola continues. In some cases, survivors are even leading the charge, mobilizing their own communities and helping care for patients and their families. The United Nations and its partners have vowed to stand with the affected countries until no single case remains.